Hello and welcome to Coop Life. I'm Mara28 and you are watching something completely different and unexpected from my normal stuff. Ow! Stupid bees. They're they're annoying. We have bees, by the way. Hi. Hi bees. And butterflies. Hello butterflies. <laughs> uh, I'm getting distracted already. Alright, so Coop Life is a relatively new pack put together by Vagram. It focuses on farming and acquiring resources, primarily by uh agricultural means. You can use crops, you can harm, get chickens that can lay resources, you can use bees. Uh, certain types of cows will actually give you basic fluid resources, so there's a lot of stuff you can do. Uh, what am I going to do here, though? I'm uh, going to do a little bit of everything, I think. Oh, and by the way, I am a bat. Hello. Yes. Uh, the pack has Metamorph, which is a pretty neat mod. If you uh, know about Eichon's Morph, it's kind of like that. The, uh, there's a few differences in function and uh, features. But it does basically, it lets you kill a mob and then become that mob, so it's pretty neat. And if you kill chickens, by the way, you can become that chicken and lay its resources. So you'll occasionally poop out eggs and manure, or in this case, these guys, quartz. So they are good to have. Um, I think you could also become butterflies currently, but the only thing they do is kind of float. They don't actually fly. Um, let's find out. I think I have a butterfly morph. Yeah, they don't really do anything. They just, uh, gently float down. This is a really weird skin, actually. Perfect for, like, third person, though. And they're off. You know, I would love to see somebody set up a butterfly race in this where you had to do the race in the third person and you had to like go around the corners and stuff. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, anyway, that's, uh, that's enough of that. Back to our regular self. Hello. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm slowly losing my mind. It's okay though, because this time of night, little things that you see can spook you. You may not know what you're looking at and it just might be too much. I think I'm going crazy. I swear that sapling looks like a deer is staring at me. I mean, am, am, am I am I crazy or is that a deer sapling? It's got little beady eyes. There's little ears here. That thing is a deer. Why is it blue? Where's the blue from? It's the water. It's the water behind it. We're seeing. Oh, that's freaky. Needless to say, I don't like that sapling. <laughs> I, I really, really, really don't. So what I would like to do today, I've got a good healthy amount of uh, copper and tin in my reserves. I would like to get started with the basics needed to uh, get a multi-farm. And to do that, we need to make a thermionic fabricator. We need to make a bunch of uh, copper and tin, preferably make a powered furnace because they're usually a little bit more efficient than the uh, regular furnaces. And then we also need to make, I'm thinking a, uh, we'll make a oil generator from actually additions so that we can power everything off of canola for now. That's probably the best bet. Uh, we'll definitely be able to use a multi-farm once we get up and going to plant and harvest, can well, not plant, just to harvest canola. We're going to be using crops so we can Use the agricraft crops of the forestry multi-farm. That way we can just have it continually harvest and we don't need to worry. It's the best of both worlds. All right, I do have some resources stacked up so far, but nothing much. The only iron I have is actually just from a little mining trip I did to get gravel. Uh, I don't recommend going down low ground at the moment. The surface, if you've noticed, is peaceful. The way this is set up, uh, anything above Y level 60 will not spawn hostile mobs. However, anything below Y60 is fair grounds, which means that the underground caves and stuff are teeming with monsters since they don't ever spawn on the surface. Uh, if you're near, a, if you're on the surface near a cave, there's a chance they can wander out, so you have to be wary about that. But for the most part, there is effectively a peaceful surface. It's kind of nice. Especially not having to have torches everywhere. They uh, are very useful, but they are very, very ugly. So it's nice to have. And this lapis plant does not want to spread the iron. You are spreading so much, you good, good iron plant. Alright, uh, let's see. First things first, I am getting distracted. 
So we want to go ahead and make a thermionic fabricator. We're going to need to make probably a, I want to make a oil generator oil. No, it's because it's not a double pipe. It's a single pipe. We're going to then need a canola press, a fermenting barrel. Yeah, fermenting barrel. And then we'll probably also want, let's see, we're going to need an atomic reconstructor. There we go. Luckily, thank you to the magic of NEI, we can filter all that so we can see all the items we need to do. Makes it really nice and simple. Uh, let's see. So this is pretty easy. It's an iron casing, which is black quartz surrounded by four iron and sticks, and then by four iron. So I can farm up the iron using a watering can. That's not bad. Um, I'll need something to initially power it. Won't be able to use the canola for that because that actually takes anori crystals, which are iron, run through the reconstructor. So we gotta pass on that for now. And then the fermenting barrel needs one as well. So that's good to know. Oil generator is actually not that bad though. That's pretty cheap. There's just no way to get the oil you can run in it until after. And then the thermionics dead easy. Does need gold though. The gold might be a problem. All right. So to power this, let's just get like a uh, survivalist generator. No. Let's just search for generator. Seems like the best bet. So there's leaf eating, culinary death, disenchantment, ender generator, explosive. Do not want explosive. Furnace, altosis, heated redstone. There we go. Survi it's not survivalist, it's survival. Okay. And that's literally a furnace stone. Cobblestone? Yeah, cobblestone and an iron ingot. So yeah, we'll do that. We could probably do that now. I sunk a, a very large amount of copper into making this copper colossal chest. Do not regret. Do not regret. I have so much junk in here. And most of it is junk, unfortunately, but it's, it's such a handy thing to have. All right, so we got that. We're gonna need an iron ingot. Did I put you in or take you out? I put you in, but that's okay. Uh, did I plant the red crops? I did not. So I got two redstone there. And I should have a redstone seed somewhere. It's probably in that chest we we're actually just looking at, but what I'm looking for now is gravel, because we have to plant some. So red seeds. There we go. I would rather not infringe upon this stuff. I want to try to leave that there. So what we can do for now is just move the canola, since it's not really of any use to me until we get a generator for it. And once these are going, there's no real need to save. It'll go pretty good. Um, so we got that cleared out. Let's go ahead and get some gravel in here. We have nice little uh, three by three plots here. This is set up so that if we ever get the forest, the forestry worms, the a actually addition worms from using a uh, hoe or a shovel on the ground or whatever, that we can just put them down in the center and have them boost crop growth. I don't know if it works on non-standard crops, so I don't know if it would work on like the iron ones over here. If it did, that would be amazing. I am uh, not holding my breath, however. So we're going to go ahead and put those down, put some cross crops on the outside to give it a chance to spread, and then we're going to need to get some uh, water. I don't know, can you bone mail these guys? No, okay. I think you can bone mail these guys because of a setting. No, okay. Never mind. I have been misinformed by myself. Okay, so that is four redstone. Yeah, four by seven, there we go. That's not so bad. I think I actually needed two for the survivalist. I'm going to need two more to be able to get the uh, reconstructor. So let's do that a little bit more. We just look at the ground here and it'll still get it. 
One more. With any luck, this will spread as we're doing our other stuff. The tick rate on the spreading on this is kinda... kinda slow. <laughs> it took me the better part of a day just standing around to get what I have right now for these guys. It probably would have been faster for me to continue to breed the 111 seeds instead of spread out from a single seed. That is a mistake that I made that I should probably learn from. Alright, first things first, we're going to need a furnace for this. Got it. Then come on over here. Shift click. Okay, so revivalist generator. Uh, you know what? Let's make a pick while we're at it. We're going to need, to need one anyway, and these furnaces are kind of in the way. Anything in these guys? You have wood. Alright, so they can go away. Apparently, you cannot use uh, ore excavation to batch mine out furnaces. That is good to know. So right now, if I wanted to use these guys with uh, power, I'd have to make a... There's a, a furnace heater block from Immersive Engineering we, we could use. It's a heater or something. No. Anyway, it exists. I'm not crazy. It does exist. Oh yeah, I'm not making that. Holy cow. That is a freaky recipe. I'm sorry. Let's see, an extra utilities furnace is just a machine block surrounded by bricks. That's actually not bad. Especially considering these are really cheap. Each of these blocks is basically one iron ingot. The rest of the cost is negligible. However, we're going to be going full hard onto the uh, thermal expansion stuff later, so we're not going to go get too caught up in that. That is okay. Alright, so first things first, survival generator has no power. We're going to go ahead and break down some of these little pieces of charcoal. And we'll let him do his thing. It'll make power, albeit very slowly. Uh, next up is going to be the atomic reconstructor, which means we're going to need that. We need iron. Iron, we need sticks, we need redstone. We have the redstone, we don't have the black quartz. I can get that from, I think, regular quartz. And yes, perfect, okay. So if we go ahead and convert some of this coal bits back into regular charcoal, we can turn it into, no? Okay, it's not a shapeless recipe. So, yeah, we need sticks. One, two, three, four. Okay, so casing, got it. And then reconstructor. Uh, this guy will actually need a button, so let's just go ahead and make a stack of uh, buttons. You can always use buttons. I mean, not really, but it's a good lie to tell myself as I waste resources. All right, so we got that in. Oh, 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 how do I change you? Redstone torch. I need redstone. <laughs> it's wasting my precious power. Where'd you go? You weren't really there. You faked me out. I feel like I was bamboozled by a crop. There we go. And then... Okay, pulse. That's better. So that thing should only ever go off whenever we drop items. So we can basically go ahead and put a button there. And then whenever we need to process something, we can just go like... Actually, let's go ahead and drop that. Oops. <laughs> let's drop it off the side behind where it can do no good. I don't know how much power you need for this, so we'll see if this is enough. Yeah, there we go. So now we have the Inori crystal. We need those for the uh, canola press and the fermenting barrel. All right. I am getting distracted, however. We need the fabricator. Which is sturdy casing gold, gold, gold. We have to go mining for gold. We have to go mining for gold. Yeah, we definitely go mining for gold. 
um, I'm going to go ahead and turn a bit of this uh, tin and copper into bronze, which we'll need anyway for the casing, so we can do that now. It's a really simple recipe. So it's three to one, and I didn't get enough tin because I'm stupid. Right, so we want to go ahead and cook that up. Um, do we want to go ahead and try to get this? This is a tin gear, which we can make right now. It's easy. It's four tin and then an iron ingot. Glass. This takes gold, too. I don't have gold. All right, looks like we're back to using dummy furnaces for a moment. Yeah, you guys get out of my inventory. I do not like you. All right, so please cook up. Also, did I have anything in here that was of immediate use? No. I have dark oak saplings. They're always useful, but no, they're not of immediate use. Yeah, no, we're good. Anori Crystal, you can go in there for now. Because this advanced coil takes gold, too. Uh, I could make this. But it's not going to do me any good without the uh, press first. So we got to do a little bit of mining. I'm going to go ahead and make a bronze pick and a bronze hammer. Oops. I need sticks. I'm so glad that you can actually turn the crops from uh, Agricraft back into actual uh, tools. It makes it so much easier. Um, let's see. We only have one. You know, okay, we're going to turn that last iron ingot of ours into a shield. Because I don't want to die. And I know the way I play if I don't have a shield in this, I am going to die. Alright, so we got that. And one more of those and we can get a hammer. There we go. This is a thermal foundation hammer. They're pretty useful. They mine a little uh, 3x3 area like you'd get from a tinker's hammer. They are, however, much less durable, but they are much easier to make, so it's nice. Overall, I like them. It's a good addition. Uh, they also add, like, the entire metal line of, like, shears and fishing bowls and stuff. It's kind of good to have. I think right here is the mine entrance. We have to be kind of careful here. Uh, I dug this out before and there's no real lighting in here so it's kind of dark it's uh kind of stupid <laughs> yeah check hey hey guy getting a little bit of lag i don't know why okay that's just a zombie morph you know if i morph into a zombie will they still attack me <laughs> Hey guys, I am just your friendly neighborhood zombie. Don't mind me, I'm coming down. Zombie man, zombie man. I need to improve this mind thing, this is stupid. <laughs> I, I mean this in the nicest way, this is stupid. <laughs> Alright, we got a little bit of light down here. Alright, so we can mine the redstone, so that's good. Let's go ahead and get that. I got something. Resonating redstone crystal. Oh, that's actually really good. I needed that for something related to that big chest. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm happy with that. And we're going to get this black horse. It's actually not going to regenerate in the world anymore, so we should enjoy it while we have it. All right, let's get some of this cobblestone out on the hot bar. We are not savages. We are not going to just leave holes wherever we go. Um, what we are going to do, though, is uh, mine like crazy. We're pretty low at Y11 right now, so I don't really need to worry about running into anything. If I do find any uh, coal, though, that's going to torches. Because I know for a fact that this is not the most understanding view. Ah, uh, we got gold! 
I love it when searching is fruitful. Perfect. Um, yeah, let's just uh, block that off, like just like that. <laughs> Nobody ever needs to know. And then the next one is right here. Is that right? Yeah. I'm actually off by one, but whatever. Nobody needs to know I'm off. Oh, fantastic iron. And more gold! Oh, phenomenal. I must have too much junk in my inventory. Alright, so let's get rid of that. Get rid of the rice. I have the gold on me. Yeah, I got nine. That's nice, actually. I, I approve. Get rid of the wheat. You want to get in me? Please? That is such a lot of redstone just from one or two little pieces. And we have coal here. I totally spaced on. Alright, so let's get that out of here. Turn this into planks and planks into sticks and sticks. And that all go to... I don't want to get rid of the stupid uh, torch. I might need it. It's like I know I'll need the clay for sure as well. Let's get rid of the stone pick. And I think we can use F7 from NEI to actually see what's going on here. What was yellow down there? Wheat? Okay. We don't have time for no wheat. Let's go ahead and put the torches in our offhand. Oh, I think we got all the gold we need. This is awesome. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's go ahead and get this gold to go back to the surface. 17 blocks of gold. That's, that's perfect. That should be enough to get us up and going and get some ore doubling. Still, only one of those little thingies. That's sad. I was hoping for one more. Uh, these are a bit of a pain to make. They take a ender pearl. And I don't have a good way to get them yet. There is a single little under lily I planted outside at the front, but that's going to take days to grow. Alright, so we're back to the surface now. Let's go ahead and get this shield put away. It takes up way too much of our screen. Keep some apples there. The apples still take up a good amount of space too, actually. Alright, so we're going to, going to need to smelt up at least, let's call it four of these things of uh, gold. We need eight-ninths of one for the uh, canola press, and then we need a full one for a uh, furnace, and we need four for that, so actually we should have done uh, six. There we go. Uh, I believe I have some sand inside of the big chest here. We'll go ahead and get that, cook it up. There we go. Turn. Let's just actually just get all of it. And they cook up six of them to be able to turn into panes. Let's offload the redstone and the iron, nickel, lapis, and clay. We don't need it. Black quartz can also go away. That's going good. 
chickens are chickening, which you got in there for me. You have four eggs. You have sand. I'm so very happy to see that. You have a lot of eggs. Don't ask how the rooster gets eggs, by the way. Just accept it and move on. <laughs> it happens. It works that way. No questions. All right, you can go away as you, well as you. So the reason I needed that thing, by the way, uh, there's no good way to select everything in that bar, is there? No, okay, we'll just erase it. I know what we need to make. Anyway, the thing I need that for is to make an indexer, which you need about, let's see, three of them? <laughs> three, so I need at least four of those guys total. An indexer, if you hook it up to an inventory, it'll actually view the contents of that inventory from one screen. And you can sort through it, filter, craft, and then if you have it hooked up right, send it back. So we can basically use a colossal chest and storage drawers as a rough basic storage system. It works kind of like applied energetics would or refined storage. It's just more extremely basic in terms of what it can do. There's no like on-demand crafting and stuff. But it's more than enough for what we need in this pack. Definitely look forward to get that. Stop your clucking. Okay, please. These guys need mufflers. They really, really need mufflers. So that in a box makes a casing, and then the casing with all that makes a thermionic fabricator. Uh, this guy runs off of sand and, uh, well, sand, really. It's also going to eat most of the power this thing makes. I don't know if this will actively waste power or not. We're going to find out. If it does, we're going to be quickly moving it. Give me some sand. No sand. So can... Okay, yes, I can. And yeah, it melts down to liquid glass. Good to know. Uh, for, let's see something real quick. What are you? You're 434. You are a weakling. That current chicken there is like... Uh, Four, five, four, I think, so we don't want to use anything less than that. The uh, sand chicken's bringing them down. So anyway, we're going to use this guy here to make the little tiny little uh, electron tubes. The what? What is lapis for anyway? Cocoa. Okay. Let's go ahead and search this way. I believe it is a copper electron tube that you need. Tin. I believe it's a tin electron tube that you need. <laughs> uh, they're made out of redstone and tin, so five tin gives you four tubes. So you end up needing a bit. I think altogether, totally, you're going to end up um, 36 farm blocks, and each of those blocks takes a tube. So uh, find crafts of that. So we'll probably need like 45 tin dedicated just for electron tubes. I think we can do that, actually. Let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, we'll cook up that last remaining bit. You know what we're also going to need? We're going to need stone. I just thought about that. I think the easiest way to get stone would be to make an igneous extruder. Alright, so we should have everything we need to make the igneous extruder. So we got our machine frame there, the 2NVAR. Oh, we need to make the uh, coil. Yeah, let's go ahead and just make the two of them. I know we will need to. And we should be set. Igneous Extruder. Phenomenal. Uh, the only downside to this guy is right now I actually can't use it. I don't have any lava. It's okay. We're going to be getting our lava from chickens. Wow, that's a lot of information on a tooltip. Okay, so it definitely should not show both the numbers and the gauge. That's a little bit weird. It is nice that it tells you. So anyway, the igneous extruder takes both power and then water and lava to make cobblestone, stone, and obsidian. Uh, if you upgrade it, you can actually add augments to it to make different types of stone. Like, I'll be able to put an augment on here to make this thing make uh, andesite. I love andesite. This, these polished blocks are phenomenal, and I love them very, very much. And I think using chisel, there's like a connected texture version of it. They look so nice. 
So, so nice. I'll be putting them to good use, I hope. Uh, but to make that, I need lava, and I don't want to go downstairs for lava. It's scary there. Uh, we're going to go the route for chickens for lava, so we can go ahead and make those guys before signing off for the day. Uh, we're, we're going to need flint, and we're going to need some eggs. The flint. Uh, we also need nesting pens. A log. Get out, of my, get out of my inventory. There we go. And flint. There we go. So, some of the basic chickens from the chickens mod you can actually craft. Among them is the flint chicken, which this actually gives you a spawn egg. So this gives you a complete good to go. And the wood, the log chicken. As far as I know, the log chicken only lays regular oak wood, so I, I, I kind of wish it could like lay other kinds, but you know, I'll take free wood. I won't complain too much. <laughs> Not too much, a little bit. So anyway, there we go. Get back here. <laughs> so the reason we have these two specifically, though, is a flint chicken and a log chicken will make a coal chicken. And then we can then breed the coal chicken with a nether quartz chicken, this guy right here. And that should be able to get us a uh, lava chicken, which we can then use its eggs for like little portable lava tanks. They're pretty neat. Very cool things to have. This rooster still freaking me out. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to go ahead and be all for today. I want to go ahead and do some other stuff off the uh, off camera and off of pressure. <laughs> Plus, I need to, you know, just wait for these guys to grow. It's not really terribly exciting. I think we made pretty good progress, though. We got ourselves a thermionic fabricator. We made up all the uh, electron tubes we need for a farm. We have an igneous extruder, which we can upgrade. And a uh, atomic reconstructor, using which we can make the stuff for a canola press. So all all good in the neighborhood, as they say. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a message in the section below. I'll try to get back to you. Uh, if you like the series, please make sure you hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And I will uh, click you later.